What's up, everybody? Craig here, and uh, it's that time of the year again. Um, uh, El Capitan came out, and um, we're going to be uh, doing a clean install. At least that's what I do. You always have the option to upgrade. Um, I don't like to do that. Uh, you know, Mac or Apple comes out with a new Mac OS every single year, so that's just perfect timing for me to do a clean install. So, what's a clean install? A clean install is basically wiping your storage device, whether that's if you got a hard drive, SSD, PCIe flash, whatever you got, you're gonna wipe it. You're gonna install a fresh, clean operating system. Now, remember, you're gonna lose all your stuff. So, back up your apps, your music, your movies, your documents. Back all that stuff up on an external uh, or some place where you uh, need to keep that stuff safe, because you will lose everything. And you'll need to reinstall your apps if you purchased your apps through the App Store. You're good. You just go to the purchase section in the App Store. Uh, you re-download everything, but if you bought something third-party, hopefully you kept that email with the serial and product key, and then you re-download, uh, re reactivate those programs. If not, just email the company. I'm sure they'll give you the uh, product keys. So with that said, um, you're going to go ahead and go to the App Store uh, and download El Capitan. When it finishes downloading, it's going to look like this. Uh, we're not going to deal with this wizard because this wizard... Uh, deals with uh, upgrading. Uh, so we're not going to upgrade. We're going to do a clean install. So Command Q to quit this out. Okay. And um, what we're going to need now is a flash drive 8 gigs or higher. Uh, have a USB 3.0 flash drive so this is going to go faster. If you don't, then it'll go slower, but it will work. Um, so with that said, um, we need to format the USB thumb drive. If you see it says in untitled that's uh that's important I'm gonna show you why so I'm gonna go here uh, plug my flash drive in here's my flash drive I'm gonna click on this not this because if you erase this um, it's going to give it whatever name it's currently so if this said Joe Blow and I was to format it right here it would still say Joe Blow but if you were to click on this hit erase we want it Mac OS extended journal uh, and it's, it automatically defaults to untitled. So we'll go ahead and go with that. And I'll show you why that's important. Erase. And then so it's going to say untitled. It's going to go away, come back, and it'll say untitled. Okay. All right, I'm going to command Q out of this. All right. Now I'm going to bring up the command we're going to run. All right, real quick. Um, this will be the folder I'm sharing via Dropbox. Um, You'll see this. Obviously, uh, it speaks for itself. But um, why you see so many? Um, this is L Capitan USB install for uh, Word document. Um, this is Pages document, and this is Text Edit. So um, you know, some people might not have Microsoft Word. Some other people have, you know, they won't have Pages or whatever. So it's just in different formats. Uh, so you can grab which one applies to you, and then uh, Text Edit will open this or whatever so I got it all for you alright was having trouble with the uh, command but it looks like I got it right now this is because um, remember uh, there was Mavericks Yosemite uh, and now El Capitan notice the difference Mavericks one word Yosemite is one word and El Capitan's two words so the command actually has to go like this now remember you don't have to remember this I'm going to uh, put the documents in the description uh, or from my Dropbox and all you have to do is download them copy and paste so what you're going to do is you're going to hit copy and you're going to copy this all the way from start to finish and you're going to open terminal and paste it's going to ask you for your password as soon as you hit enter or uh, I guess it's not going to ask me for my password so if you're seeing this this is good news it's starting to make your um, bootable media player or bootable media uh, operating system and here let's go ahead and minimize some stuff here so um, kinda gives you a, a description of what's going on uh, and if you've noticed it says instead of entitled uh, it says install OS 10 El Capitan uh, it named that for me, so I didn't do that. Um, it, did it, do, it did its thing. It's going to do its thing. You let it do its thing. Wait till it's all the way done, and it say it should say done. It should look like this. Once you see done, then you can go ahead and eject it, and uh, 
you know, do all your backup stuff and get ready for a clean install. All right, so like I was saying, um, this is what you'll see when it's done, and you see done, and you're ready to go. So as you can see right here, if you open it, it looks like you just dragged the app in here, but that's not true. It's actually a bootable, uh, you know, piece of media. So if you were to actually drag the uh, app in there and try to boot it up, uh, it wouldn't work. So you have to do it this way uh, for it to actually work properly. So once you have your bootable uh, thumb drive ready to go, and you have your stuff all backed up, your documents, your movies, your pictures, all that music, all that great stuff, and uh, and then you have your apps ready to go and get reinstalled and all that great stuff, um, you're ready for a clean install. Uh, so what I want you to do right now is hit restart. And uh, I'm going to do a couple things, so I'm not going to restart yet, but you're going to hit restart. And when you do, you're going to hold the Alt Option button. So, so restart and hit the Alt Option button. Hold it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit restart. Hold the Option Alt button. Okay. So after restarting and holding the Alt Option button, you'll come up with this. Obviously, you're going to hit the USB symbol and then the arrow, and it will boot up into the bootable media. Now, if you don't have USB 3.0 capabilities and a USB 3.0 thumb drive, it's going to take you a little bit longer, just FYI. Okay, so we've booted up to the utility sections. Um, let me see if I can focus here. Um, let's see if I can focus in on this. All right, there we go. So we're at the utility section. Uh, this is a two-part uh, process. Your brain's going to tell you you want to click install OS 10, but uh, don't do that because now comes to the clean install part where I'm going to go down here. I'm going to select disk utility. I'm going to hit continue. It's going to bring up a list of disks. Oh, this is different. This is cool. All right. So I'm going to go up here to my Samsung. Now remember, it's going to take away your boot camp and your Mac if you have a boot camp partition. For those who don't know what a boot camp partition, uh, look at one of my videos. It'll show you how to install that, but uh, it's Windows on your Mac. Anyway, so I'm going to go to my Samsung SSD. I'm going to click Erase. Again, this is different. This is quite odd, um, but we're good. Mac, or how about let's call it El Capitan. El Capitan. Okay, El Capitan. And then, yep, we want OS Extended Journal. And then, okay, that seems good. We'll go ahead and erase. All right, so everything you just had on your Samsung SSD or hard drive, whatever it was, is now gone. And you have absolutely nothing now. So hopefully you had it all backed up, as you can see. All right, and so now we're going to X out of this. We're going to install OS X. OK, 
continue. That's going to ask you what drive you want to install it on. And we're going to say the one we just erased. There it is. Next. Agree. Agree. And I want to install it on El Capitan. And then next. And we're going. After this is done, it's going to boot up into the wizard like you would uh, boot up uh, like if you just got bought your computer brand new and you started and put your Apple ID and all that great stuff. So I'm not going to go into that. Uh, we're done here. But if you like the video, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, again, all the information will be in the description as far as links and uh, commands and all that great stuff. So um, thanks for watching the video.